All right, start recording for my bartender on Quartz. So, as you can see, my bartender right now is a mess. It's all over the screen. I do not want this. So let's type slash bt, and it'll bring up the um, bring up the configuration interface for bartender. So let's go to presets, apply a full reset. There you go. I don't want my XP bar. Don't want a reputation bar. So let's agree that this looks like complete ass. So let us. And I want to keep the vehicle bar. I don't want to keep the stance bar. You warriors might want to keep this. Um, if you're like me, though, I will always be on seal on the seal of insight unless I switch specs. So I don't really need to see this. I don't have these keybound, so there's no way for me to change it. Um, I will always just be in seal of insight. Pet bar, eh? Not a hunter. Um, just in case, I'll keep it. Micro menu, don't care. Got keybinds for that. Bag bar, don't care. I can just press B because that's the keybind for my bag bar. Right. So for me, uh, bar one. Let's just actually let's drag them all here. There we go. So for me, bar one is this bar. This is hidden. Uh, these are mostly spells that have no cooldown, and I don't really need to know uh, what their cooldown is. So with this, I'll move it down here. Where's bar 1? I'll move it down here. Uh, same for bar 2. And I will put these alphas on 0. I know the keybinds by heart, um, and... There's pretty much nothing on that that I really need to know the cooldown of. Because if I really need to know the cooldown, it'll be on bar 4 for me. So, bar 3. I don't even need this enabled. It's a, it's a trash bar. This is bar 4 for me. So, bar 4. It's pretty easy. We put, just put this on. Two rows. Slap it in between here. And as I expected... I don't want snapping. How do I disable snapping? Visibility, positioning. Let's just do it like this. Uh, so the X offset bit over here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to slightly. Uh, actually, looks. Oh my God, bar snapping was just there. It was right here. Okay, I'm the worst. Um. I will be back in just a second after I have moved my shadow unit frames. Okay, so this seems to be a lot better. Uh, I enjoy this more, so let's go with that. Extra action button. Let's put this together with the vehicle bar. Put these here. If I ever need them, I know where they are. Actually, let's put them up a bit higher, because this is where my uh, power orders will be. There we go. Okay, pet bar. Slap it down here, I guess. We'll never use this. Don't care about this, just in case I ever need to control a pet in a raid, or I feel like playing my hunter again, that is where it will be. Bar 5, don't care. Bar 6, don't care. Bar 10, however, I do care about, because that is the bar with my mounts. So let's slap it over here again, and just put on an alpha of 0. So as you can see, uh, currently... Looks like I only have 12 skills, but I've got a fuck ton more. What I will do for this, however, is hide macro tax and hide hotkeys. So this looks a lot better. I think we can all agree on that. So, with the uh, major clutter out the way, let's move on to quartz. So slash quartz. Have I made a new profile? Completely new. Boom. Right. Um, that is quite annoying though. You can't move the interface for quartz. So let's just toggle a bar lock. I don't care about my focus. I don't care about my pet. Don't want to know the latency. Uh, don't care about this. Don't care about the buffs. Don't care about the mirrors. Nor do I care about timers, swings, all that. 
Actually, I'll keep it on intrapt. Range, flight. And I do want enemy caspars. Contrary to popular belief, I do think they're important. So, let's look here, here, and here. So, where are the buffs for shadow unit frames, slash SUF, lock frames? They're right there. Excellent. We know where they are now. So, let's just position this a tiny bit above it, and we'll be fine. Lock again. Close. Slash ports. And let's start editing the player settings. So, for height, 25. I'm fine with that. With, um... Let's keep it at 220. That is what my player frames are, I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. So, player. I don't want to know the icon. I really don't care. The font is Ubuntu. So, let's just stay with the same font for the entire UI. Oh, wait. There we go. Spell name position. Center. Um, do we want anything else? Yes, the texture needs to be flat. Border is two. As I've said before, you can get all of these in the shared media library. You can get it from pretty much any add-on site you want. Um, let's have it snap to center. So there we go. Ooh, my entire UI seems to be a bit off. So I'll fix that. So slash. SUF and I will be right back. Right, we have returned. We've uh, fixed the offset in my UI and my caspar is right here. So let's go back to quartz. Boom. Player. This is where we were. So we've got the spell name position in the center. Um, spell font size, let's keep it at 12. I like it a bit smaller. Uh, I don't care about the time. Do I have an option to disable time? I cast time. There you go. And hide the time text. So we don't care about any of that. Player, we um target we will copy from player, but we'll adjust it just a little bit. I want it to be bigger, so thirty-five and wider. So two sixty. With that, you should see that the target is indeed a fair bit larger, because I would like my target to be very noticeable, and I think I'll make it even a bit bigger, and slap this on 300. There we go. Hide the icon. Hide the time text. And that should be it. All right. So let's snap this to center, because I forgot to do that. Let's snap this horizontally. And I don't care about focus, but for some reason. There we go. For some reason this is still in there, but it's not going to show up in combat, or shouldn't show up in combat. So for now, I do like how it's looking. So we've got the cast bar set up, we've got the... Uh, action bar set up and we've got the unit frame set up. So the next part will probably be the minimap and deadly boss mods. Although the deadly boss mods really doesn't doesn't really take that long. I don't really adjust them that much. 